Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and my channel's called Dress Yourself Happy. Today's video is going to be a little bit different on my channel. In my recent March favorites video, I had discussed and talked to you guys about the Diva Cup. I tried it for the first time in March during my March period, and this is my second one because if you watched that video, I melted my first one, and if you're interested on how I melted it, make sure you go watch that video, which I will have linked in the cards as well as in the description box below. So today's video is going to be my experience and my kind of how-to for using a menstrual cup is what these are called. I'm just using the Diva Cup. I know there's a bunch of brands out there and just hopefully shed some light on the situation and the device and if you're interested in some girl chat then just keep on watching. I'm going to just kind of talk to you guys about my experience, why I wanted to try it out, and also some tips that I learned the hard way, and thanks to a lot of you guys on Snapchat for the advice on how to insert and remove the Diva Cup. Also, how I keep it sanitary and clean. A menstrual cup is basically just that, a cup. And what it does is, let me just take this out. So this is a brand new one I ordered from Vitacost, and I originally bought the first one at Whole Foods, which I don't recommend doing because it was $50 at Whole Foods and it was $30 at Vitacost. So open this up. Diva Cup comes in two sizes. I'm not sure about other brands. This comes in size one and size two. I bought size one because I have not had a child through my vagina or in any way. I don't have a child. If you have had a child, they recommend you get size two. But pull this sucker out. That's what it looks like. It also comes with a cute little pouch to keep your Diva Cup and it comes out like this. This one is made out of silicone. They typically are made out of silicone. And in the sides, you've got little measurements, so you can kind of measure how your flow is going. And then you've got this little point down here where you're going to pull it out. There's little holes around the top for, I believe, ventilation, I think. Just kind of leave those alone for now. I don't even know where to start. This is such a weird topic to be doing, but I think it's very important because like I said in my March favorites, I didn't get the whole period talk. I didn't even know I had gotten my period and when I did figure it out, I was really on my own. So before the Diva Cup, I have been a long, long time user of tampons, traditional tampons that I would buy at Costco or Target. Before that, I used pads. It's a really hard, process of learning how to use a tampon because my mom had never used a tampon nobody was really there to discuss how to use tampons for me and i was a dancer so it was really really challenging for the first few years of my period because i would go through boxes of tampons not knowing how to insert it finally i started using tampons and once i started using tampons that's all i ended up using so probably around the age of 16 years old i was using tampons from 16 through last month until March of this year. I was 13 years old when I got my period, which is pretty average, I feel like. And what was really interesting about the Diva Cup was I had heard so much about it kind of just on YouTube and I'd seen commercials about it online. And I was really fascinated about it because I remember a few years ago in one of my acting classes, a friend of mine was talking about how she really wanted to try a menstrual cup and how they're way more sanitary and they're better for you. And I didn't think about it at the time and I knew other than toxic shock syndrome and the bacteria that can breed in tampons, I didn't realize how bad tampons really are for you. At least the last 10 years of my life, over 10 years of my life, I've been using incredibly toxic products going up into my body. And you do worry about leakage, it doesn't feel that great sometimes, and it's just, it's kind of a pain in the butt still, even though it was the most convenient way of kind of dealing with your period. Everybody who has tried the Diva Cup seems to rave about it. And I had brought it up to Hobbs, and I was like, hey, you know, I've been really thinking about trying the Diva Cup, but I'm kind of worried because it was such a challenge to learn how to use tampons. And he's like, oh yeah, I saw the Diva Cup at Whole Foods the other day. I was wondering what it was. And I talked about it with him, and he's like, well, it seems like it makes sense, and there's gotta be something to it. 
So I started my period like two weeks after that conversation and it was just a random conversation we were having and we were going to the grocery store and picking up food from a bunch of different places. Our last stop was Whole Foods and I was like, you know what, I really want to try the Diva Cup. So we went, picked out a Diva Cup together and I was kind of confused because the way they have this labeled is under 30 and those who have had who have not had a baby and then those who have had a baby or over 30 and I'm kind of right in between like clearly I've, I haven't had a child but I'm really in between and so I kind of was like why don't they just say like small vagina bigger vagina because it was really kind of confusing and hubs being my husband was like I think you should try size one so I bought size one and I'm glad I did because I don't think I could go to a bigger size and this is way too much information. I picked up the size one and I read the instructions twice because that's me, I have to read the instructions. After you get it, even though it's like clean in this box, you wanna wash it with warm water and a non-scented soap. What I used was my St. Ives cleaner because I figured if it's safe to use down there, it should be safe to use to clean this. And I did use like hot warm water, basically where my hands are okay in the water, but on the hotter side. And I cleaned this out and washed it really, really good and I dried it. There's two ways that the brochure kind of explains on how you can insert it and you basically clasp it and then you fold it like that and then you can insert it, oops, like a taco kind of like that and you insert it like a taco. Now this did not work for me. What worked for me was kind of going like that and then making it more of a point. So this is how I would insert it. And ooh, insert it like this and I would sit on the toilet and I inserted it all the way, but then I forgot to twist it because what they say is to insert it all the way and then it kind of like opens up inside of you, but because it might still be folded, they want you to twist it so that it expands fully and the suction is up there and it keeps the cup in. Once it was all the way in, I wasn't really able to get a good grasp to turn it. So what I recommend is when you insert it, kind of like that, insert it halfway and then twist it so that it opens up and then push the rest of it in. So that was what I found the most beneficial. This little nub part typically doesn't bother me and it stays in like that and it's good. I'm good to go. I don't feel like it's in there at all. It was amazing. So the first time I was a little nervous, I did end up using a panty liner and I'm glad I did because you know there was a little bit of spotting, but not because I was leaking. It was mainly because I had it, take, it had taken me a while to kind of get this in there, so there was some bleeding happening and then therefore spotting. But once it's in there, it's suctioned in there, it stays put, I was able to work out, I was able to run, do intensive circuit training, go to cardio bar. I didn't feel like this was in me at all. Sometimes tampons, if I'm not really heavy, I can feel like it's in me and I, it's uncomfortable. It feels like dry and like it's rubbing against the inside. This isn't, this is really, really comfortable, really nice to wear and it's just like, I just kind of push this nut and I don't over insert it. I don't really think you can because your um, canal is not that like deep, like you can't get things up in there. So the removing process freaked me out because I was really, really worried about how to remove it and I kind of panicked because I couldn't remove it at first, but thanks to a few of you guys on Snapchat, you guys told me to kind of just grab hold of this nub, which is not the easiest thing sometimes because that suction is in there. So I grab hold of the nub, but more importantly, I kind of like slip my fingers up in there and then I squeeze this to release the suction and then I twist to pull it down. Now when you remove it, you are going to have a cup full of your blood. And I thought that was going to freak me out. But I was actually really fascinated because I was like, oh, I am not as heavy as I thought I was, or I'm a lot heavier than I am. Like you can definitely measure and keep track of how much blood is happening, how much of your lining is actually like being filled in a cup. This will hold up to half an ounce. So you can kind of like gauge your cycle. You can really know how much is going on down there and you dump it out into the toilet and then I take it and I kind of like wrap it with the toilet paper and then I take it to the sink and I use 
warm to hot water and I use my St. Ives to clean it out and then obviously dry it and reinsert it back in. What's really the best selling point to this with me was that I could keep this in up to 12 hours and not have to worry about it. I, in the beginning, was a little panicky, so I remove it after every eight hours because I wanted to check and I wanted to make sure everything was going okay. By the end of my five-day cycle, this was really easy for me to use. Another great thing I like about this is that if I know my period's coming, which I do use an app to track my cycle, I have an alert to let me know that my period is coming. So if I know that my period's supposed to come within the day, I'm pretty on time for the most part, I can actually insert the Diva Cup the day I think I'm going to get my period and then I don't have to worry about any leakages or any mess. So even though you have to look at your own blood and you have to clean it out yourself, I really think that in the long run, it's more convenient, it's more sanitary, and it's also just a lot less of a headache. After the cycle, I like to boil it, and this is how I messed up. I had put it in a pot of hot boiling water and I kept it boiling. I was gonna go brush my teeth and come back and take it out. Well, I was by myself and I kind of forgot it was boiling, so obviously the water boiled down after a few hours and I melted my Diva Cup. If you melt it in boiling water, like if you leave it and the boiling water like dissipates and evaporates, you can't really use this again because it does damage the Diva Cup and you don't wanna put anything in there that is silicone based that might have any damage or tears. So they do say that these should last you about six months. I would recommend getting maybe two, switching them off. I mean, it doesn't hurt to switch them out every three to four months. This was $30. At the end of the day, it's a better investment. It's more environmentally friendly, and more importantly, it's safer to use for your own personal body and what you're putting inside your body. My friend was asking me, actually, she was like, well, I'm not home for 12 hours. So, cause this is not something I wanna do in a public restroom. Definitely not. If you're not gonna be home within 12 hours, my suggestion is buying two and keeping them both clean and sanitizing both of them and sanitizing a spare one and keeping it in a cloth bag. You never wanna put this in an airtight bag because you don't want any moisture to breed bacteria or mildew or anything gross like that. So make sure it's like a breathable bag. This way, when you are about to change it, and you, let's say you have to be in a public restroom, you can take this out, run it under the hot water and some soap, and then go into the bathroom, take out your the current Diva Cup, dump out the blood, wrap it in some toilet paper, and then put this one back, put the clean one in. So that was kind of what we had worked out. They also say that if you can't get it cleaned, like you can't take it into a public restroom and clean it, to take it out, dump out the blood, wipe it up with some toilet paper and just reinsert it and when you go home to clean it. So it doesn't seem to be that having it in there for 12 hours is breeding bacteria and that's why they want you to remove it. It's more about, I think, the blood being in there. So you're just dumping it out and wiping it up is enough if you can't get home to do a full cleanse, if that makes any sense. Let me know if I need to clarify that. I think that's enough on the Diva Cup. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section and hopefully some of you guys can help answer these questions as well because it's a great place for us to kind of share our knowledge and our questions and experiences because of course I'm very, very new to this. I've only used it during one cycle, but you guys really wanted to hear my thoughts on it because you said that I was so new to it, you wanted to hear like a new person's perspective. Um, a couple of you guys had shared some really crazy stories with me about using the Diva Cup, but you continue to use the Diva Cup. It was more like, you know, a couple mishaps like me melting my first one. And if you want to share those stories as well, let me know in the comment section and we can share, we can laugh, we can learn from each other. And I just think it's a great place for us to build a community of knowledge and support. Thank you so much for watching this video if you're still watching. Sorry if it grossed you out. I don't think we should be grossed out about this. It's a topic I really feel passionate about because if I'm trying not to like reiterate things I said in my March favorites, but I didn't get the period talk and I didn't get the information that is so readily available nowadays on YouTube and blog posts. I really think the internet is such an amazing thing and such a great place to share knowledge. And I don't know if it's because, you know, growing up in a very Asian household, do we just not talk about this stuff? Like, 
what the deal is because I don't know my mom was also older when she had me so she at the time didn't get her periods anymore so maybe it was something she just didn't really experience I don't know but it was kind of a trauma traumatic event for me and looking back on it I'm like you know if my daughter doesn't feel comfortable talking to me about periods or talking to my husband about periods then I really hope she finds good information online to help her even though I hope I would have an environment where my children would feel comfortable talking to us about these things we just never know we never know what's going to happen and i'm also really lucky and blessed that my husband is someone i can go to the store and buy a diva cup with and can help me pick one out and can really just like talk to me about it and he was actually really surprised that i really loved it because he was thinking he was gonna buy this for me and I was gonna try it, it wasn't gonna work or I was gonna get grossed out and I was never gonna use it again. And he was just really, he really thought that was what was gonna happen, but I couldn't stop talking about it. It made my period so much more pleasant and he was kind of shocked at how like fascinated I was with this object. So it's nice that I'm able to talk to my husband about it and I hope you guys can talk to your husbands about it or boyfriends or whoever you're with, like whoever your significant other is, I really hope that you're able to talk to them about it and if not, I'm here for you. I hope my experience and my stories and tips were able to help you out, shed some light if you were curious about it or just entertain you for the last few minutes. If they did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If they did not, give it a thumbs down. Everything will be linked in the description box below as well as if you want to order your own diva cup I'll link it for the best price I have found in the description box below because I was shocked at how much of an upcharge Whole Foods had versus Vitacost I was just I was really shocked actually so and Hubs was really upset and he was kind of bummed that I burned the $50 one I hope to see you on all of my social medias around my head and my blog and until next time I will see you soon bye guys